Hello, welcome back to Jamie's Man Cave. Another beer review for you. And this one from Vocation, their special edition Naughty and Nice Caramel Cookie Chocolate Stout. Or is it a Twix? Get it in the glass, see what it looks like. This one is 8%. So I've tried the other ones, the, the smaller beers, let's call them. Which I think started at was it six, um, six and seven percent. So that was like the the Malteser one and the Milky Way one. I think they were six and seven. Um, enjoyed them. The Malteser one for me, I was looking forward to it, and it had well, it just had that honey type sweetness that I just found a little bit too much once I'd had a full beer, but. The Milky Way one so far has been the winner, um, but I've still got another three to try. But like I say, this one, 8%. The next one up is like the Snickers one, which is 9%. And then to finish off, you've got the Bounty one, which is 10%. So the reason these are all big beers, hence why I've struggled to sort of find out, find where I'm going to fit them in for a review. Um, if, you, if it was the start of the night type beer at the weekend, I don't know what you would drink next. Did you have to maybe stay on stouts or dark beers? And if they were all around about that same percent, it would be, be an interesting night. Um, in terms of having one after work or whatever, it's hard to fit one in that's 8%, isn't it? So let's have a go. Mm. Definitely getting the, uh, the stout coming through with like a dark chocolate or like a a roasted notes. So on the back it says caramel chocolate biscuit. Crunchy cookie and smooth caramel flavours draped in silky milk chocolate stout. Chocolate stout. Stick two fingers up to thirst. Bit of chocolate, roastiness. Don't know, I won't get much biscuit or cookie. Should we have a try? Cheers. There's cookie and biscuit on the taste. That's quite a nice mouthfeel. It's not not too thick. The uh, the Milky Way one was really sort of thick mouthfeel because it was trying to imitate that uh, Milky Way nougat type, and it did it really well. I thought this one. Some milk chocolate, there's a sweetness, you've got the roast roastedness you would expect from a stout, a little bit of bitterness. The sweetness is possibly like the caramel type, and then you've got the cookie, the biscuit. Nice, I like that one. It's a dangerous one at eight percent, I would say. It's got a sweetness of a caramel, almost possibly like a salted caramel type flavour. You got milk chocolate. You have got the roasted nuttiness of the the, the stout, and then you've got a the very back end. There's like a a light crumbly biscuit or cookie dough type flavour that stays behind. If you've ever had Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream, it's like biting into one of them frozen cookie dough pieces, how it kind of crumbles and breaks up in your mouth. That's kind of what you get on the back of the tongue. So that's naughty and nice caramel cookie stout. So, score this as a stout. I think, what do I think? <laughs> I think it's a good four. It's a nice beer, does what it says. It's nicely balanced. Maybe they've had to get it up to 8% to balance it all out. 
but like with the Maltese one, I felt like it possibly not quite balanced enough, and that was like the six percent one. Maybe that maybe I'm wrong on that, but that's kind of makes sense to me. Um, yeah, a good four out of five for that. It's nice, does what it says. It's an interesting branding and labeling. It's uh, it's gonna it's gonna get interest from people that maybe wouldn't drink this ordinarily or. A, you know, a, a stout, an imperial stout, as packaged as a regular one. Um, like I say, I've got the the Snickers and the Bounty in there, the nine and the ten percent. Big, big beers. Don't know where I'd quite fit that into an evening of drinking. Um, I'd have to plan a stout evening. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Um, let me know what other interesting beers that that you think i should try i have got another order coming at some point soon i think that's from pressure drop brewing so it could be some interesting tasty beers coming from there let me know what you're drinking what you prefer and if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like and a subscribe that always helps the channel grow reach more people and share our thoughts on beer all day long then cheers as a little afterthought I've added in, don't usually do uh, food and beer tasting and pairings on the channel, but we've got a Twix left over from Christmas. Do you have a little try of a Twix along with the beer that supposedly tastes like it? There we go. Crumbly biscuit. It's close. It's pretty close. A little bit more bitterness, obviously, in the stout, but I'm pretty impressed with that. That's pretty close. I'm excited to try the others now. The Snickers and the, and the Bounty, the, the bigger beers. I just don't know where I'm going to fit them in. Save it for a weekend. See you on the next one. Cheers.